It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> No, this is a, this is not gonna be a, a parody. <laughs> but anyway, what's up, guys? Eight Streets back with another video. So this is actually gonna be a little bit different. Okay. Why does my skin? Okay, th th this this just got weird. This this just got really weird. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> this is actually gonna be a bit of a different video. Um, I don't normally do many tutorials, but uh, yeah. You guessed it, it's going to be another tutorial. Now, it's not going to be on how to build, uh, well, not another tutorial, it's, but it's not going to be on um, on how to build this uh, majestic fountain. It's actually a good way to move it. Now, for those who are actually like, you know, uh, OG at, uh, at, 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 um, at Minecraft Bedrock and stuff like that, you might know where I'm going at with this, but yeah. I am going to show you guys how to use structure blocks on the PS4. I know that there's not many vi not many videos on on um on using structure blocks on here, but um yeah. Today I'll actually show you because it's actually like you know uh, a bit sim simplified but complicated at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, first. Now that commands are available on the PS4 Bedrock Edition, and then you could just press the right button to open up the chat, or whichever uh, button you have it assigned to. Type in slash give at self or at s for self the structure block let's see if this will work hopefully it did maybe it did not uh is this the man block nope uh give me a few weeks luckily i had a structure block right over here and so I was able to pick block it. But yeah, these are structure blocks, or at least within this texture pack. But for structure blocks, look within these symbols and th that uh, that command that I've actually used. Uh, like, I don't know. I like it, 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 uh, it, it didn't work somehow, but yeah, um, I used that, com that command and I was able to get the structure block. But yeah, slash give at self <sighs> structure block spaced. So yeah. Now, as I actually move my way back to uh, this um, academy that I'm building, the structure block, uh, it's uh, like, uh, well, in order to actually use this, you have to enable using uh, experimental gameplay. Now, the reason why that's called uh, experimental gameplay is mainly because structure blocks are unfinished at this point. So it's uh, it's still in the experimental phase, especially since. The PS4 edition, or well, the uh, the B the PS4 Bedrock edition, is still well fresh. Now, before I actually get to placing anything, well, I would place the structure block somewhere over here, but there's actually a wing. Well, yeah, a wing that would actually be uh, mostly cut off. So I don't want that to happen. So in order to actually use the structure block, you'll have to go to the very edge of, or like, you know, the, the very last block on the furthest end, place a different block, not the structure block, 
and measure how um, how long and wide your uh, your creation actually is. Like for example, for this wing, I went down, and now over here. I would go all the way over here. Now, I left this blank mainly because I'm gonna put the structure block right over here. So, that's already covered. Or actually, just to make things less confusing, I would suggest, yeah, to go towards the northwest corner of your, uh, of your build because that'll actually make things less confusing and you'll have a pretty good place to start. So, my bad, I actually placed this in the wrong place. Now, I'm gonna go towards the northwest side of it and start from there. All right, now that is officially done. It's all measured and so now, it's time for the placement of the structure block. And the reason why you go towards the northwest is mainly because the measurement actually starts off at, um, at, the, um, at, at the structure block itself. And so you would actually make your way southwest and stuff like that. But it's mainly through a menu. Now, once you actually select, well, once you actually clear your measurement blocks out of the way, then you could start working in the structure blocks menus now that you've actually measured where everything is or how far you would have to go to place that that structure block and that's out of the way and now i can actually select the, the structure block and there we go it actually gives you a bit of a display of what you're uh, pretty much measuring or getting. So, yeah. Now, in this case, it's picking up the ground, but if you're actually picking picking up something that doesn't that doesn't actually uh, like have a ground or something that uh, that um, actually has water on the inside or something like that, then like I would actually you know just um, I would copy the ground below below your uh, your structure and pretty much <clears throat> excuse me and pretty much prevent anything that's uh unnecessary from happening or like you know anything that would actually cause you any uh extra work or unnecessary work so automatically it's set to save mode there's actually a mode to pretty much uh, save it to okay there's a save mode and the load mode the, the load mode would actually be for you to um, load your uh, your structure your your pre-saved structure into the new position that you want it to be at but I'm actually gonna keep it at save mode because yeah I want it to be saved now for the name, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna name this. There we go. Now we actually get to the measurements. Now, there's actually different uh, coordinates and stuff like that that you can actually put in. Now, I wouldn't actually, you know, mess with the offset because that's what makes it a bit more confusing. So it pretty much sets it off from the structure block or from you know, the ground or whichever uh, position that uh, you're starting from. So, focus mainly on the size. For example, right now, pretty much everything's set to, um, set to five or something like that. Now, let's say I choose 
10. Look at that. It extends it. Now, if I actually want to, uh, to, uh, to make it, um, you know, a bit smaller, then I could actually, you know, just choose that particular number that, uh, that, that, that I want. Now, I wouldn't focus on the Y because, well, like, uh, well, at this point, because that's mainly focusing on the height. I'll focus on that once I actually, uh, get, get done with the, uh, basic measurements. Let's go for 15. Okay, that's not enough, obviously, so I'll have to make it larger. All right, so I've, I've managed to increase it to, to, um, to uh, 25. And, oh yeah, before I move on, this could only measure up to 64 blocks for some dang reason. But, yeah, that's uh, Mojang's magic number, I guess. So yeah, there's the base of the fountain. But I can already tell that it's not gonna reach that other wing. So I'm gonna go back to editing. Let's go for, oh yeah, now I'm actually gonna focus on the Y because uh, I don't know exactly how um, how wide the, um, the other wing actually is, so. Let's go for 20. Yeah. Slightly over, not bad. So yeah, I'm actually going to make it a bit exact just in case if I actually want to add it to, to, uh, to somewhere that actually has, you know, a ceiling or a roof or something like that. That way I don't really have to uh, worry about removing any other blocks. And now, I'm actually going to decrease that. Let's go for 17. I think that's perfect. I think that's absolutely perfect. But let me see if that's uh, good enough to, well, not cut off any other parts. Okay, nothing else is going to be uh, cut off. So, yeah, 17 is actually good enough. So 17. And now I could focus even more on the width. So basically, for using this, you focus on, uh, like, you know, as long and as wide, well, and high, your, uh, your structure actually is. Let's go for 30. Okay, got most of the wing. 35. Yeah, perfect. Now, that looks like it should be just about it. Well, let's go for 34 because uh, that looks a little like it's gonna be a little bit extra. Now what I want to do is uh, like you know focus on the length because I don't want it to be uh, to be too well actually I think that's perfectly fine so yeah at this point I'm pretty much done now yeah for editing the um, the uh, well everything that's going to be included yeah it's a whole bunch of uh, coordinates and numbers that would actually have to be edited you don't really have to focus on the uh, on the offset because that's just going to confuse you a little bit more. Um, and yeah, and obviously as you, um, as you load what you actually, what you're actually going to load into, um, into where you're, uh, well, into your destination, then obviously you could just edit, ed edit out what does not need to be included. Include entities. Well, just in case, I don't want anything to be in the way. Uh, remove blocks off. Save in memory. So there are actually two options: save in memory and save in disk. I don't. I, I um. I don't really know um. What uh, like, I guess 
saving disc would actually have to like you know save it to the PS4 itself or um, or anything. But saving memory, it'll actually be uh, be saved to the game, and it'll be freely accessible to you at any time. So I'm actually gonna keep it at save in memory. And now. Before you actually continue, please, please overlook what uh, what you're actually going to be saving, because uh, you don't want anything else to be included, unless you actually do. Now, save. Okay, is it saved? Yep, it is. I kind of accidentally sa sa uh, saved it twice. Now um, I'll have to look into um, into. Um, Pretty much deleting these saves but now this is completely saved and now you can actually place it wherever you please now let's say I actually want to place it uh, hmm where should I place it I think a good place to uh, to actually uh, put it would be in my mall. Maybe towards the center. Or, I think I know the perfect place. I don't know if it'll be... Well, one thing that, uh, that actually makes it a bit iffy to use uh, to use these uh, structure blocks is that you don't really get... Well, like, unless you actually count... Uh, how many blocks are um, pretty much uh, you know gonna be gonna be placed? You don't know exactly where it's gonna begin and end, so like you know, I don't know. <laughs> I think somewhere around here would be good. And now I don't think that there's really any kind of way to rotate it, but eh, <laughs> YOLO, I guess. I'm gonna go for uh, just by j just just for luck probably here Northwest and now here we go time to select the area and now I'm going to say well not save but load and look at that. Don't worry about the offset. That's going to confuse you. And now. You basically type in. The name of. Um, of what you're. Uh, of, of, of what you're going to copy. Or better yet paste. Alright. So. Angelic fountain. And it actually gives it a particular command to uh, spawn it. Oh. Oh, that could be. Okay, then. I guess this wouldn't be a good spot to spawn it. Because I don't think I can rotate it. Dang it. Uh, I guess if um if you actually have a um, a, a big uh, a big structure, then I would actually um I would actually recommend for you to actually place it uh somewhere outside, or else you're actually gonna you know affect whatever you're actually building or like you know any of your already built creations. Actually, one thing that I actually thought about doing is uh making another decoration for uh for the front of my uh my main uh well actually for, for the main entrance to uh m um to my main yard so directly off of the yeah this should be good yeah this would be perfect so yeah d directly off of the pathway i'm gonna put it right over here oh there is a way to rotate it 
Well, now you tell me. Here we go. It's officially loaded. Once you're actually done, you could edit out what you don't want in there. Well, not edit out, but um, you know what I mean. Now look at that. It was in one place and now it's in another. Quite incredible, huh? <laughs> a brand new fountain. It's uh not centered, but uh hey, I'll uh, I'll 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 deal with it. I mean, sorry for those who actually have OCD and stuff like that, but uh yeah, it's uh I think it's quite nice. Now, one thing that you actually have to be careful with uh, when it comes to uh, these structure blocks is that you, if you actually have a structure underwater that you would like to duplicate, then yeah, <clears throat> it can actually duplicate the water around it as well. They should actually <laughs> include a, like, you know, an option that says, uh, you know, include water or, you know, uh, because uh, that, that that actually has a lot of work to do with it. You guys might remember my uh, Guardian Temple home. Yeah, so... Man, complete, complete deja vu, huh? <laughs> I actually, I, um, I actually uh, copied it to be in this place. And so, all around it... Heck, it's a Guardian Temple. So, there's bound to be a whole lot of water around it. And so, yeah. It actually duplicates the, uh, the, the water around it as well. Now, before I actually end this, uh, this quick video, or, I don't know if it'll, if it'll be quick or not, but, uh, like, well, before I end this tutorial, well, it ended. Duh, technicality. Duh, come on. Um, anyway, before I end this video, I have a bit of an, uh, an announcement to make. So, since the PS4 edition has uh, um, a, a, a bedrock update, then pretty soon servers will be introduced. And you might know where I'm going at, where I'm going at with this. So, since servers will actually be introduced once. Servers are, uh, are, are, uh, are introduced. I will leave my world, dream, well, new dreamland, completely open for, uh, like, uh, for, 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 pe for people to join. Uh, well, like, they'll, they'll, they'll have to pretty much go by me first, but I'll see if I can actually host my own server. And anybody who actually would like to, you know, with uh, with my approval, can officially build and edit as they please. Well, except for uh, for my uh, my like uh, my stuff that I have already built. So, for example, no turning the uh, the Fantastic Four, ah, the uh, Avengers Tower, into the Baxter Building, because I can't really copy and paste the Avengers Tower. That's a huge building, and so it can only go up to 64. Which sucks. When building, anybody could actually, like, you know, add as they please. And, uh, yeah, hopefully not, uh, well, actually, if anybody would like to, um, like to turn the, the Avengers Tower into the Baxter building, then I would actually have to, like, maybe make another, uh, another server for it, or, like, uh, or create another world for it because uh you know i worked so dang hard on that thing and i would not like for that thing to be uh th to be changed but uh yeah we'll we'll see we'll, we'll see where that goes so as soon as um as um servers actually get introduced be on the lookout but anyway thank you guys so much for watching Hopefully this uh, this tutorial video was actually uh, pretty helpful <laughs> because uh, you know structure blocks they're not too well known and uh, you know I I, uh, I like you know I'm 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 glad to pretty much bring it into the light even with the little bit of su subscribers that I have. <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, you know, just uh, just just uh, just a bit of your time, and uh, you know, uh, in return, um, you'll be entertained. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hopefully it was uh, it was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. H3 out, and God bless. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it. And also, thank you for keeping up with the channel as well. If you're brand new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. There's actually a lot of gameplay that I'm pretty sure will bless your life. <laughs> thank you guys so much. H3 out, and God bless.